everybody, it's Cara on Fire, and welcome to a kind of next us video. Today, a little update for you guys. We're talking about what's been going on in the Hotfix Funhouse in Funcom. So, uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. So, it's been a little busy on the Conan Twitter, and they have had to do quite a few hotfixes and public beta hotfixes implemented to live. It does appear this latest update has been quite problematic when it comes to Conan Exiles and a bunch of things have slipped in or slipped out. So here we go, update. Updated April 12th, so this is time I recorded it. We are focusing on building a new update specifically to address your inventory not responding correctly under various circumstances, as well as fixing sprint toggle. They say inventory management issues include being unable to access chests and vaults, being unable to equip armor, multiple items becoming highlighted in your inventory, and more. So this is actually quite a really big issue because that is very important for playing the actual game, being able to move around your armor or even access your chest for some aloe, stuff like that. It's not a good thing. What they do say though in this one is the current timeline that we're looking at to patch is approximately two weeks. Oof. That one hurts. They say this is all assuming it goes well. We're getting those bugs squashed, builds cooked, and patch certified. So it looks like we're going to be waiting a hot minute until these things are fixed, especially if they are a big issue for your game. So for those unaware, they actually are planning to nerf bearer thralls really harshly, especially this update. But they went back on themselves because they wanted to, uh, you know, give you the bearers with the HP until they have an update next update involving something. And then they are going to make them go back to having crap HP. So basically for now, you get to enjoy your bearers. And I would honestly go and find like a fighter for next time or something like that. Uh, get prepared that way because what they're going to do is they're going to nerf the HP of bearers back down again. So they tried to fix this. It didn't work because uh, not all the bearer types had their HP nerfs reversed and so on. It was a whole thing. So now hopefully it should properly be fixed and your bearer should have good HP again just for this age uh, in chapter four until the next age. And then you will not have that anymore because their HP is getting nerfed back down again for a reason, which are going to be interested in seeing what that reason is. Uh, so we have to see. They also say some items and objects return incorrect amounts of materials when dismantled. So maybe an exploit there or something like that. Zingarian mercenary armor requires heavy padding despite being medium armor. Yeah, I can see that being problematic. Unable to start crafting item area when attempting to construct a Stygian siege foundation. They also fixed the redeemed legion armor set missing an option to repair, which I saw people talking about quite a bit. And they're like, why well, can't I repair my armor anymore? Is it being made like legendary or something to the point you can't repair it at all? But no, it was just a bug there end. Character does not continue sprinting even with sprint toggle enabled. Player characters and thralls sometimes sink into or through building pieces such as foundations. Yep, seen this one a bunch. Foundations cannot be dismantled if placed too deep into the terrain. I can see that being problematic. Separate NPCs do not respond correctly to being assaulted with a truncheon. Some bosses do not draw their equipped weapon and only engage in fisticuffs. Which, yes, uh, I'm wondering if that fixed all ones like that because there was quite a lot of uh, NPCs that did engage that way. If you own a Alumit and Willbrow T4 Blacksmith, this does not apply the intended durability and weight bonuses to crafted tools, so that has been fixed. And server crashes on the Isle of Sipta, which I'm being told has something to do with turtles or something like that. I'm not sure because I haven't had any problems yet on my server. So we will see. Uh, whatever you do, don't tame turtles, I guess. Where hyena ambushes do not appear for characters over level 60. Maldorescent Grand Champion Law does not count down while offline if left in the player's inventory on a dedicated server. You can work around this by putting it in a chest before logging off for now. Brandishing an item whilst walking causes your character to run and cannot walk until the item is sheathed. Followers aggro and attack friendly where hyena followers. Opposite problem as before, kind of. So that's the first bit of the patch, honestly. And uh, yeah, this is going to be very interesting seeing what happens. 
I just revised on this by the way, I think this is not this update today, this is for the next update, it's a little confusing in their post. Inventory management issues retrieving and moving items between inventories and containers including bench chests and player characters. Item stacks cannot be split via dragging with sorting enabled. Inventory becomes uncooperative when merging stacks of items while sorting and filtering are enabled. Cannot equip armor, wrong items selected, etc. And then there was some issues with the game pad as well. So that's what they marked down for in two weeks time or today. It's very confusing, honestly. And then if we go down to their next patch notes, they also did a patch on the 9th of April, which was implementing the public beta uh, update into the game, which also fixes a bunch of things in here, which they have to recorrect again. So there is a lot there. I will link both of these patch notes down in the description if you want to read them fully or have a look at the comments. I've also been looking on the forums as well. I'm seeing quite a few reports of this one in particular. Full full damage. So if you have any NPCs you really like, I wouldn't take them out for now, especially not cliff diving, because apparently some people are having them take full damage and die. Like, <laughs> it's not good. I've seen a few reports of this, so you might want to be wary of that from the forums and apparently it's just a bunch of crashing and all that stuff happening as well which is not good um so be very careful on kind at the moment just be careful what you do when and uh do bear in mind what those uh, bugs entail and they're not gonna be fixed for a hot minute so yeah unfortunate this one honestly guys uh it's not great but hopefully they get those fixed very soon or in a timely manner and things get patched up so you guys can continue playing and enjoying the update and enjoying the uh, limited time event of the special sacred hunt that's where we get to play so uh, yeah either way thank you for watching today i love you and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye